All right, I was going to uh, review the four guns I got from DK Firearms and something kind of got messed up with my format. Um, this is going to be gun number one and I kind of didn't do quite in. This is the one that had the dented trigger guard. Okay, and by the time I contacted him, talked to him, and I told him I was going to keep, keep the thing and fix it myself. Uh, they were sold out in 24 hours. So I really never got a reply from them, and the point is moot because they don't have anything to replace the gun with, and I did not request to have it sent to them. Okay, so uh, my thoughts on it would be probably if I sent them photographs of this and explained it to them, they probably would have exchanged the gun. All right, I'm, I'm saying they they seem like reasonable people if you approach them in a calm tone of voice without freaking out when you get a hold of that poor woman on a customer service line and just explain things nicely to her. They're very polite. They're very kind people. So I'm going to say yes. If I sent it in there, probably they would have done something or, or something to fix it, even though it was not damaged in shipping. or See, that, that was the curious part of all this. So we'll look at how bad it was and basically the video will show you the dents and then I go through clean it pull it and then we're going to go on to the other three guns I received from them okay we're going to take a closer look at the damage here to this trigger guard As you can see this thing is twisted and screwed up and I do not believe I can get cartridges a clip of cartridges into the rifle and another thing, if you notice, the rust buildup is pretty bad on both of these lugs. So it's been in there for a while. And there you can see it through the bottom. See the extent of the dent in there? Well, I'm going to put some penetrating oil on it. I have not yet contacted the company to talk to them about it. Um, I'm going to get this apart and examine it and see how bad it is and uh, then I will call them and try to talk to them about this. Okay, I broke the screws loose and here you can get a good look at what we got. This one side is bent real bad. Okay. You can see that there where it's in, indented. Uh, and it's got the rot on there. So rust got up under this one. Pretty bad in the one corner there. See it? And over there. Now, simple thing to do is just replace the whole thing, which would be like a $35, $40 deal. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get a stripped lower thing, and again about 20, 25 bucks, and pull these parts out. You know the internal parts. Or you could try to bend it. Now I have not contacted the company to um, discuss with them. Say you bought one, you got one like this. Will they accept a return on it or whatever? Okay, I'm going to call them up and talk to them about it. Uh, so give me some time on that and I will get a response. But I just wanted to work on these guns and take a look at them uh, now. So I will get back to you. I will keep you fellas updated on it. Okay, what we have here with gun number one and a lot of four. Uh, this is the one that had a significant problem. I'm going to cover that separately in another video because I did contact the company and describe the situation and got an answer pretty quick. There is some pitting under the wood line on both sides of the receiver. So be sure to go back into your wood stock. I oiled it and find where it is and try to scrape it out. This one had a little fungus in that in there, but in pretty good shape, you know. And I believe the upper hand guard is a later replacement. It's probably the old one was cracked. This looks like brand new wood. 
The, the bolt was fairly clean, everything was good on it. Extractor present, firing pin, cleaned up fairly easily and was done. Nose cap had a little bit of rust underneath inside that you had to clean out. Make sure you get that done. All the rest of the stuff, the hardware, good shape. Now, this is our part that got all damaged. As you can see, see the giant dent in there? It's bent. And uh, here. So this is what I talked to him on the telephone about. And I'm going to have to take some photographs of this and send, send it to them. And I got the company's policy on these guns also, which is nice. I talked to someone, explained, and I explained, I told them the truth, that I am doing a review on YouTube. So I kind of said, you know, I'm not calling to jump up your face. I'm just here trying to help you and give you a good review. Okay, so I was honest with them. Uh, about what I was doing and why I was asking the question and I will go over that with you when I'm finished Oh, yeah, the butt plate I got off a lot of rust underneath there took care of that so oh And the bore this is where I usually tell you about the bore. I cleaned it out. Uh, it's good Okay, I'm not gonna <clears throat> say it's meant or I had some others that were more impressive than this one There is a defined rifling you probably say it's gray, you know, but there is sharp rifling in it, and, and I, I would give it, you know, very good on the bore condition. And then we'll get her back together, and I'll give you my thoughts on the whole thing. <clears throat> All right, so got another one from DK Firearms. I bought a group of four this time. This is the first one I've worked on out of that group. Uh, and as I showed you, cleaned it up. Uh, this one there did have a little bit more under the wood line pitting, which is not horrible. Okay, <coughs> woods. All right. I mean, some of you like to go and refinish it. The uh, upper handguard's replacement. It is an unusual variant. Okay, other than the standard one that I received and the first the first one I ordered. Uh, this had some cosmoline on it, but not terrible. It was a quick and easy to clean up, not that bad. It still takes a few hours to get all the crap out of there. And the bore, I would rate is very good, okay? It's not dark, it's, it's you'd call it gray, but there is well-defined rifling. How <clears throat> worn it is or how it shoots, you basically just can't tell by eye. And the only other thing is I forgot to mention, is up here this button that you push for the rear sight seems to be you know that's what you push down on to make the sight move that appears to be a little chewed up and broken off you know it's not it's a little damaged but nothing horrible it still works the sight still works it's not just flopping around on there um, but this is also the one with the uh, that trigger guard and now <clears throat> I have contacted the company and uh, I have to send them some photographs of this and everything and I will do a video on this and the one with the uh, broken extractor and I will tell you what my uh, experience was talking to customer service and, and how it all came down and also what the store policy is also okay you know you guys kind of got to understand what the store policy is just don't go calling them having a fit and that but kind of know it in advance and it's kind of common sense these guns are well over a hundred years old they've been in storage for 70 years there's going to be little faults and problems like this knob being, you know, kind of chewed up, broke off. Uh, but I have not found <coughs> any of them with a broken firing pin yet. All of them seem to have good firing pins, which a lot of times I found them with them busted off or snapped off. So that's one good thing. All right, that's my cleanup and closer look review. 
and I have to do some more work and work with this company today. But stay tuned and you will see a video later on.